and welcome back to the Football Rundown today. We're going to be discussing the League 2 table. I'm going to give him my mid-season review, going over the predictions that I made of the League 2 season before ball was kicked in the summer. We're going to be going over them predictions today, where they are at the moment compared to how they were in the summer and potentially where these teams may finish come the end of the season. Of course, when I made predictions in the summer, not everyone was particularly happy with some of the predictions I made and we're going to talk about them in the video as well. Where, you know, Some people commented and said oh, I was really far off with where I predicted their team to finish. Fair enough, let's have the conversation about that today. Some uh, predictions I made seem to be absolutely spot on at the moment, but again, still half a season to play, so teams will obviously move up and down the table. So just because I've got it right at the moment doesn't mean, obviously, that they're going to finish there, but obviously it's nice to see that some of them are you know, roughly where I'd expect them to be, and some are, of course, dramatically off. So we're going to start by showing the predictions that I made at the beginning of the season versus where they are at the moment. So obviously bottom of the table at the moment, Forest Green Rovers, I had them in 10th place. So I have to hold my hands up and say I got that completely wrong. I just looked to them as a team that's come down from League One uh, this you know this season. I expected them to still have some quality players that could perform uh, you know, and, and be, be at a good enough level to still stay in the top half of League Two. I always knew that a team that was coming down from League One may struggle because of the quality of players. They might not have to get rid of players, but they should still have enough about them to compete in League Two and not find themselves bottom of the table but I can only put it down to bad running of the football club bad decision making over the last few months that's allowed them to be in this position in the, the day they've been through two managers uh, you know this season already I mean Troy Deeney is currently the manager that does not look like a club with a stable plan bringing in a you know a player you know at the beginning of the season making them permanent manager mid-season they're in a relegation battle as well and you're putting someone in the first ever job in management you've got to look at it does he have the experience Troy Deeney as a manager to guide them out of this situation? Does he have experience in recruiting players, good enough players to get them out of this situation to find themselves at the moment, bottom of the table? I'm not so sure he does, and I do think that they will be relegated this season, and I wouldn't be entirely surprised if Troy Deeney lost his job along the way. So 23rd place, Sutton United. Of course, I expect them to finish, what was it, 17th in League 2. So I wasn't expecting much from them this season, but I certainly wasn't expecting them to be relegated, which is currently the position in which you know, they find themselves in. It's obviously been a poor season for Sutton United. And of course, from a Stockport County point of view, I know them for obviously putting eight goals past them a few weeks ago at Edgy Park, just before the new year. Uh, they've conceded the joint most goals, I think, in League 2 this season, alongside Colchester United. 55 goals I think they've conceded in League 2 this season. It's just far too many goals to leak in. And I'd say that if they can tie up that defence, maybe possibly bring in some players in defensive areas, they might be able to give themselves a fighting chance of staying up. But I'm just not so sure. And I therefore do think you know, Sutton will struggle and they will either be there or thereabouts. So relegations are very much on the cards for Sutton United this season. Colchester United then 22nd place. We've just spoke about the fact that they're joint with Sutton for the worst defensive record in League 2 this season. It's going to be interesting for them, though, because they've made an ambitious appointment in bringing in Danny Cowley as the manager, the Cowley brothers, uh, you know, in, in that managerial situation. Uh, it look, you know, it looks like to the end of the season, I'm not sure if there's an option for them to stay longer. I'm not sure what the length of the contract, contract is. Like I say, it's an ambitious appointment for a team that finds themselves 22nd in League Two. This is a, you know, Danny Cowley's an experienced manager throughout the Football League. He's obviously done a great job. Uh, Lincoln City is obviously where he's best known for. And I think that he's had a few difficult jobs since then. I think this is a real test for him. I think it's important for him to build his reputation back up after a few disappointing jobs. Uh, this is a difficult job for him, no doubt about that. 22nd, uh, you know, joint worst defensive record in the league this season. Coming in first week of January, you know, the transfer window's open, but he's got to get a chance to, you know, to work out who he wants to keep, who, you know, who, may, who he may want to move on and what kind of players he looks to, you know, he may look to want to bring in. But defensive players have got to come into Colchester to give him a fighting chance, I think, of staying up. But like I say, it's an ambitious move from Colchester to bring in the set of brothers who know how to manage in these leagues. And I'm, I'm sure that will give them a fighting chance of staying up this season. Salford City, 21st in League Two table. I mean, I can't believe what's going on with Salford City at the moment. Obviously, in playoffs last season against Stockport County, got it to, you know, to semi-final of the playoffs. And it's just not been a great season for them. 21st in the table. They've got a striker who can score goals in Matt Smith. I think he's got 14, 15 goals this season. That's quite a decent amount of goals for a team that can, you know, finds themselves 21st in the table. Uh, obviously, they've made a managerial change as well. Neil Wood lost his job 
uh, last week and they have now brought in Carl Robinson again a bit like Colchester an experienced manager in the EFL and he'll know how to guide his team out of this situation I don't think Salford City got to fear relegation though they are in that battle at the moment uh, Carl Robinson should be able to pick up enough points with Salford they should have enough quality in the squad to find and, and you know guide themselves out of it but like I say this is not where they would want to be if we look at their finishers since they've been in League 2 they've finished 11th 8th 10th and of course 7th last season uh, but like I say Carl Robinson comes in an experienced manager it's a good appointment I think for Salford City they do find themselves in a relegation scrap at the moment but like I say uh, him and his management team should be able to guide them through enough points to stabilise the club and I don't expect Salford to be relegated this season like I say for Carl Robinson and his staff I think it's just a case of trying to stabilise the football club uh, this season and try and rebuild for next season it's not been the season they would have wanted they would have wanted to have pushed on that just hasn't been the case but they may have a luxury option in Odin Bailey coming back from Stockport County he may be coming back to Salford for the second half of the season and he you know he's a skillful player he's a good player and he may give them a good opportunity to push up the league. 20th place Grimsby Town thought they finished higher this season I think Adam in 13th just not been uh, at it at all this season Grimsby uh, I do worry for them I think they are a team that could be carried into the you know the relegation scrap if they're not careful as I say I expect to higher things from them. it just hasn't been the season that they would have hoped for so far this season for Grimsby 19th place Doncaster Rovers uh, I got a lot of stick from Doncaster fans uh, in my video at the beginning of the season when I said that they, I think they would finish 19th in League 2 a lot of people saying they're going to finish a lot higher uh, than that and of course at the moment they're currently 19th so it's an interesting one isn't it uh, they're currently miles away as well from uh, the playoffs, which is where some people said they would finish. Let's just go and look at the comments that I got about Doncaster in the uh, pre you know the League Two predictions. So one said, "I'm pretty optimistic. Our fan base is united in the belief of successful season, but I would say we need uh, we may creep into the playoffs. That's very far off at the moment. 19th, it takes some job for them to get in the playoffs this season. I've got to say. Here's another one. Doncaster have signed 10 new players and now have Grant McCann in charge." but you have us finishing in 19th place, uh, a lower finish than last season. You were right when you said you did not have a clue about any other teams in in the league other than Stockport. Kind of looking a bit embarrassing from now. Apparently not have a clue what I'm on about. Said they were finished 19th, currently 19th. Nowhere near the playoffs like some people have said. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I, you know, I'd like to think I've got a bit more of an idea about football than, uh, than, than I think he's suggesting. Just to end off on the comments from Doncaster fans, uh, because I can't help it, you know, sometimes you get a stick for, you know, for prediction, it's pretty much on the money at the moment, it's nice to sort of have a bit of a, you know, a bit of a laugh about it, we shall see, uh, fella, but I know for certain we won't finish 19th, and we'll finish much higher than last season, well, like I say, it's going to take them some job to finish much higher than last season, uh, they're currently 19th at the moment, so I don't see them pushing on much further than what I've said, look, they may finish ahead of 19th, and good luck to them on that, but I don't think the aim for them this season was to try and finish uh, you know, higher than what I said they would finish. Who am I to them? So I think their focus really should be trying to get a mid-table. It looks like that's what they'll go for, but they could end up in a relegation scrap again if they're not careful. Uh, 19th, I said they would be at the end. Of the, you know, the end of the season. They're currently 19th at the moment. How much higher or lower do Doncaster end up by the end of the season? 18th place, Newport County uh, seem to have improved over the last few weeks. I have to say, obviously they stopped Stockport County's winning streak uh, back in the end of November. Their form seems to have got a little bit better, I think, because they have crept up the table. I think they were near the bottom of the table, now 18th, so they moved up maybe two or three places. That might be a bit of optimism for Newport County fans. I'm not sure what they would be expecting this season. They've obviously had a difficult season to be around the bottom of the table, but I think they will be okay this season. 17th place, Morecambe. Dropping down from League One, obviously this season after you know facing relegation, I expected a bit more from them. Uh, but 17th at the moment, it's making my eighth place prediction for them looking pretty silly at the moment. I think they should be okay this season, but I certainly don't think they'll be uh, eighth place or making the playoffs anything like what I might have thought was possible for them at the beginning of the season. Let me know, Morecambe fans, what are you expecting from the rest of the season, and where would you have expected to have finished? Uh, come the end of the season. 16th place, Swindon Town slipped down the league the last few weeks, last month or so. Uh, obviously, we're looking at playoffs at some point, uh, you know, in the season at one stage. Uh, I remember when we we played them uh, the middle of November, I think it was, and I think they were around 8th at the time, so they've completely slipped down the table. Granted, there isn't much of a gap between, obviously, 16th, 17th and and uh, obviously the playoffs even, I think there's only maybe three or four points in it. So there's not that much of a gap. But as I say, in terms of league position, it looks like a big fall for them. I think they will struggle though for the rest of the season. Uh, they've just lost Dan Kemp and Jake Young on loan. 
both of them players have gone back to their parent club. That's a big loss for them because they've contributed to 30 of their league goals this season uh, of, uh, out of 47 league goals in League 2. So massive, massive losses for them in them two players going back to the parent club. It could be a difficult season for Swindon, but you just never know. They might turn it around and push up the league over the next few months. Tranmere Rovers, 15th place, I predict, uh, 15th place at the moment. I think I predicted 15th as well. Uh, 12th place last season. Uh, but since losing to Stockport on the 28th of October, uh, they've only lost once in League 2. Uh, they're currently on a four-match winning streak and have been scoring goals for fun over the last few weeks. In recent games, they put five past Salford and beat Notts County 4-2. 33 points at the moment in League 2. They could be a potential playoff contender. I wouldn't say the favourites, but they're an outside chance of being in the playoffs. And I think I could have this wrong, but I think they've collected the most points in League 2 since November. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So there's been a massive turnaround in form for Tranmere Rovers, and you just never know what can happen. Like I said, I predicted 15th for them. They're currently 15th, but you just don't know in football. They could give themselves an outside chance if this form continues of potentially getting into the playoffs. Certainly looking at the top half of the table. Harrogate Town in 14th then. Uh, they've just lost one of their better players in Luke Armstrong, who's made the move to Carlisle in League 1. Uh, obviously, uh, predicted them to be um, 21st, I think it was in the, was it 21st in the table I predicted them, yeah, 14th at the moment, not really sure what to expect from Harrogate Town this season, but uh, I think they should be, you know, should do okay, and I don't think they'll uh, finish, uh, you know, as low as 21st, which I put them at the beginning of the season, can they keep in 14th, I'm not so sure, but I think they'll be there or thereabouts, 13th place then Bradford City, I don't know what's gone wrong for Bradford, I predicted, I predicted them to finish 2nd, uh, obviously in League 2 this season. I thought they were going to follow Stockport County into League 1 this season. I don't know what's gone wrong for them. They've obviously had a difficult start of the season. Mark Hughes has been sacked. Graham Alexander's gone in and turned the club's fortunes around slightly. They are looking upwards uh, in the league table now rather than behind them. Uh, so that's a positive, I suppose, for Bradford fans. Obviously, uh, we, we played them away 0-0, uh, uh, obviously just before uh, New Year. Obviously, wasn't the best game. I don't think either team looked particularly great, but they got a point on the board that day, Bradford. As I say, results have been slightly better since the change in management. You'd expect them to push up the league. Now, they've also got Jake Young back, uh, obviously, who was on loan at Swindon. We spoke about the impact he had on Swindon, uh, in, you know, the first half of the season. So, you know, hopefully he, uh, you know, Bradford fans will be hoping that he can have an impact on them. And if he can get the chance, get the opportunities to be in that Bradford team, He's probably going to be a big reason if they manage to get themselves into the playoffs this season. 12th place then at the moment, Crawley Town. Look, sometimes when you make predictions, you know, I'm completely wrong. And in this case, 12, 12 uh, places is the difference between Crawley Town of where I expect them to be and where they are at the moment. Crawley Town have just had a you know, complete, you know, completely different type of season to what I was expecting from them. Obviously, a lot of people saying they were going to have a difficult season uh, going into the you know going into the season. So I just listened to what was being said around me and just thought, you know, right, that's it. They're going to get relegated. No one gave them much of a chance, but they managed to turn it around. And I have to say, uh, I've got it completely wrong uh, on their part. So look, fair play to them. I'm sure that you know that that, that they're having a better season. Than I think they would have expected to have had as well. You'd imagine they're safe from relegation as well. So I don't think there's any fear that for them now. I think the message is let's just try and finish this out the table as possible. And obviously at the moment, 12th place is a good position for them, uh, you know, away from relegation, which is what I think a lot of people expected from them going into the season. So I'm sure they'll be happy where they are at the moment. It's just a case of pushing on and seeing how far they can go. 11th place, Walsall. I always think they've been a bit of a nasty team whenever we've got, you know, whenever Stockport County have gone up against Walsall. Never enjoyed playing against them. I think we played them in the Cup last season. Didn't enjoy it, obviously. We've got them coming up next in the league as well. So I might have to watch what I say a little bit about Walsall because they might just do us over. But I've never enjoyed playing against them. I've always found them to be a bit of an overly aggressive side in my experience. Could be wrong though this season. Currently doing better than what I think they were going to do this season. As I say, currently 11th. Uh, I predicted 16th from them. Uh, like I say, in my experience, not a pleasant team to go up against. Let me know your thoughts on Walsall. That's almost a compliment to Walsall in some ways though to say that then then you know nasty team to play against. They get stuck in overly aggressive at times I'd rather a team be overly aggressive than not aggressive enough so I suppose that's almost a backhanded compliment you know to Walsall and their fans like I say you know 11th at the moment I predicted 16th some people are saying you know league position wise it looks, you know it looks completely off but there's only three or four points between it so they could you know easily slip back down to 16th but I'm sure that they'll be 
um, okay this season. I don't think there's any fear of relegation in Walsall's minds or the fans' minds this season. Again, a bit like Crawley, it's just a case of looking upwards, you know, upwards to the table. How far, how high up can we finish? Tenth place, Gillingham, another team uh, that I got criticism for on my prediction. I said they would finish ninth. I got told they would finish a lot higher than ninth. At the moment, they're not even ninth; they're tenth. Look, they've got quality. They've obviously got uh, you know a lot of backing uh, in the ownership above. A lot of people are talking about them being rich owners, good backing. And they will probably, if that's the case, you know, use that in, in this January transfer window. So even though they're only 10th at the moment, and I expected them to finish 9th, I'm sure they will go and push beyond 9th uh, this season because they will use their financial strength in the in the you know January transfer window to try and uh, obviously push into the playoffs this season. And I've got to say, it's been a bit of a strange season. There's teams that you would expect to be in the playoffs that have been nowhere near it. You know, we're talking about Salford, Bradford, who are obviously starting to get back into that position, but have been miles off it. For a lot of the season, Gillingham will obviously think they've you know got a really good chance of getting in the playoffs, and I think the expectation for them now will be to creep into the playoffs. Accrington Stanley then in nine five. Look, I I said they finish eleventh, so it's not really that far apart. Again, another team. A lot of these teams now in this position, of the table, they'll all be thinking, can we get in the playoffs this season? Obviously, Accrington relegated from League One last season. They'll want to get back into League One this season. They've got an outside chance of doing that. I think they're a team that's capable of getting the playoffs. As I say, it's going to be a massive battle for them. Uh, I think they may just finish just outside the playoffs. But obviously, at the moment, ninth place is looking good for them. Uh, and obviously, got a decent chance of getting in the playoffs this season. So we'll have to wait and see how it pans out for Accrington. But let me know, Accrington fans, what are your hopes, what are your expectations? Do you think you can jump into the playoffs this season? Eighth place, MK Dons. Look, I mean, I had, I had a lot of expectations of them uh, going into the season. I think I had them in fifth place. Obviously, expecting to be in the playoff spots. They started, you know, they they started this season really well. I think they were top of the table for the first few weeks. They looked really threatening, and it just seems to have gone a little bit wrong from. But over the last few weeks, they managed to get themselves back in the top half of the table, and are currently in a playoff, or just currently outside the playoff spots even. But I do think this is a team that will make the playoffs this season. I think they've got the ability to. Obviously, they'll have players from last season who were. League One standard, so I'm sure they will find themselves in the playoffs this season. Like I said, I predicted fifth, they're currently eighth. I'm sure they'll end up there or thereabouts come the end of the season. AFC Wimbledon in seventh uh, place uh, at the moment. I predicted them to finish a lot lower in the table, so they've completely proven me wrong. Like I've said about a few teams at the moment, they're currently in a uh, playoff position as well at the moment. They'll be hoping they can hold on to that position. Uh, like I say, it's going to be so competitive in that, you know, in that area of the table. And I'm sure they will be given everything to stay in the playoffs, but I'm not sure if they'll manage to with the quality behind them. So they'll be there or thereabouts, but they may just drop out again, a little bit like Arkansas Stanley. For Alexander, I had them in 18th place. I mean, I don't know what on earth I was thinking. Currently sixth in the table. They've been very, very good this season. And I've got to say, currently in the playoffs, I do think they'll finish in the playoffs as well. I think they'll be just outside the automatics. I think they'll have a strong end to the season as well. So I do expect them to be in the playoffs at least. I don't think they'll make the automatics, but I certainly think they'll be in a playoff semi-final come the end of the season. So fifth place, Notts County. Look, I had them in fourth, so I expect them to finish just outside the automatic spots. Uh, it's been a bit of a strange season, though, for them. They've been a bit up and down, obviously, scoring a lot of goals. I think they've scored the most goals in League 2 this season. But they've conceded far too many goals as well. A bit of a basketball team, I suppose some people may say. Uh, at the moment, even though they do have a lot of possession in games, I think they rank the highest for that. But it just seems to be a bit up and down. Obviously, a bit of a bad, you know, a bit of a bad time for them as a football club at the moment. They've just lost the manager, Luke Williams, who's gone to Swansea City. They are going to be looking for a new manager. At the same time, you know, but they're looking for new players. They're looking to try and bring in new defenders, probably, to fix that defensive issue, to try and become more stable, to try and give themselves a fighting chance of staying in the playoffs, or even maybe trying to push into the, you know, the automatic places, which is going to be a challenge in itself. Uh, but look, as I say, it's not a good time for Notts County fans at the moment. They're probably not feeling that positive uh, about the managerial change coming in January. How much is that going to affect their business? How much is that going to affect them getting the deals done they were hoping to get done? And it, you know, could this be a problem for them? Could it be so, so much of a problem that they maybe even dramatically fall out of the playoffs? Uh, I'm not sure that'll be the case. I think they're too strong for that. But I do think that automatics could be a bit of a push now and probably a little bit out of sight. But you just don't know in League Two. They get a good manager in to replace Luke Williams and everything could be fine. 
So we'll have to wait and see, obviously. But at the moment, I expect them to at least hold on to the playoff position. Fourth place, AFC Barrow. I had them in 11th place this season. They've been a bit of a surprise team this season. I think worked on defensive stability at the back. I think that's played a massive factor in them uh, getting into the uh, you know the playoff positions. Obviously, Stockport County had a frustrating game against them a few weeks ago on Boxing Day. Obviously, they had a disappointing result to Wrexham just before the New, well, New Year's Day, wasn't it? I think they were level for the majority of the game. And obviously, Wrexham got a few goals back at the end of the game to win the game 4-1 I think it was in the end so it's a good win for Wrexham a bad defeat for Barrow but it keeps them in uh, fourth place at the moment just outside the automatics can they hold on to the playoff position I'm uh, you know I'm pretty certain they will probably do that but as I say it's so competitive at the moment do I see them getting in, in you know in the automatic positions not really I think that the three you know three above them are just too strong this season and I do think that they'll uh, they'll be happy with playoffs, I think, Barrow. Third place, Wrexham. This is exa exactly where I expect them to finish uh, come the end of the season. It's been a bit of a strange season for them. They haven't dominated quite as much as I think they were going to. Uh, but obviously, the last few months, they've come into it a lot more. They've been a really stable team. And obviously, uh, you know, becoming a real threat again. And, uh, you know, obviously, Stockport County beat them quite convincingly uh, at the beginning of the season. Somehow, I don't think that game at the end of the season in League 2 is going to be quite so easy, quite so plain sailing for Stockport County. In fact, that last game of the season at the race course ground could be a pivotal game in the title race. Obviously, both teams will be hoping that game's wrapped up, uh, sorry, the title's wrapped up before then. But as I say, I think that game is going to have a massive say on either the title race, the playoff positions, or even the automatic spots, it could, it's going to have a massive impact regardless, I think. Even if the title's done by that game, I still think it'll have a massive sound on how the playoff positions and the automatics plays out. But as I say, third place at the moment, it looks really tough. Obviously, you've got Mansfield ahead of him, Stockport Guarantee at the top of the table at the moment. I think it's going to be a difficult season uh, for, you know, for them teams. I think so many teams will be fearing of dropping out the automatics as well, but I do think Wrexham will be in the automatic spots come the end of the season. Whether that's third, second or first, Look, I'm not necessarily going to win the title. I said at the beginning of the season, Wrexham won't win the title. I still believe that. But do they finish higher than third? I'm not so sure. Let me know your opinion, Wrexham fans. Second place, Mansfield Town. Well, this is where it gets interesting because there's only two spots we haven't spoken about now. It's top of the table, Stockport County. And it's second place, Mansfield. Mansfield is just so consistent. Obviously beat Stockport County uh, last weekend as well. Has that changed my thoughts any more on the title race? Well, I think it has a little bit. Look, I think Stockport County are in a difficult position at the moment. I think injuries have been an issue, uh, obviously, over the last few weeks. I can't use that because every team has injury problems, but particularly for us, we've lost a lot of key players, a lot of influential players in how we play. And I do think that is having a, you know, a massive impact on us. Can we turn it around over the next two weeks? Of course we can, but is it, you know, is it too little too late with the fact that Mansfield win their games and then they go ahead of us? Can stop, you know, can stop Pogganti still win the title? Of course we can. Am I going to say we're going to win the title? I think that my heart may be rolling my head on this. I think if I'm going with my heart, I think Stockport County win the title, absolutely. I think if I go with my head, I think I may go with Mansfield Town to win the title and Stockport County finish second. I think that's what I'm leaning towards at the moment. So I want to get people's thoughts on this. Do you think that Stockport County can still win the League 2 title? Or do you think Mansfield Town may pip them to it? Or even maybe Wrexham? Uh, let, let me know everyone's thoughts. Are you happy with the predictions that I gave uh, at the beginning of the season still or are you happy with what I've said about your team uh, currently and where they are at the moment and maybe the expectations uh, going in into what is the, you know going to be a difficult second half of the season let me know your thoughts in the positions I've given at the beginning of the season what I've kind of said about where they are at the moment and how I think the season will pan out let me know all your thoughts in the comments don't forget to like the video subscribe and as always thanks for tuning in.